Hey, I'm Cassie and I'm an engineer at Cycling 74. Max 8 is coming soon and it's got a whole bunch of new features. One of them is a bit different from the others and I want to talk to you about it today. It's called Node for Max. Node for Max is a package that lets you run Node applications from Max using an object called Node.script. But what is Node? Node is a set of JavaScript tools for writing applications. You might be familiar with the JS object from older versions of Max, which also uses JavaScript. You can use the JS object to script Max. You can write JavaScript code to create, edit, and connect objects. For example, this patch lets you create objects using code. So I'll create one object, two object, and three objects. You can think of Node as a bit like this object, except instead of scripting Max, you're scripting your computer. We're still using JavaScript code, but this time we're using it to create files here on my computer. So I can create one file, two files, and three files. Just to clear up any confusion, the JS object and the Node.script object are not related. Specifically, the node.script object isn't meant to be an improvement over the JS object. They both happen to use JavaScript, but are used for different things. Of course, the biggest difference is that the node.script object gives you the node environment. I've already shown you that node can do stuff like create and delete files in your computer, but it can do lots of other things as well. For example, it can run a web server. This patch lets anyone on the local network connect to it and draw a squiggle. That squiggle gets turned into sound. So I have my phone connected to this patch and if I draw something, we can hear it and see it. Node also makes it easy to make network requests. This patch uses an API hosted at dog.ceo to request pictures of dogs from an online database. So I can click Samoyed and get a picture of a Samoyed or Beagle and get a picture of a Beagle or Boxer and get a picture of a Boxer. But one of the really great things about Node is the community. Like Max, Node benefits from a highly active community that constantly contributes free code for solutions to common and not so common problems. That code can be found in a database of Node packages called NPM or Node Package Manager. For example, there's an NPM package called Tonal, which contains functions for working with music theory structures like key signatures, scales, chords, and notes. By running NPM install Tonal, you can add this functionality to your patch. So here's a patch that uses the Tonal package to build chords. and I can create a chord progression. Behind the scenes, this is also working with the new Max8 multi-channel support, but that's something for another video. A second ago, I showed you a patch that let you download dog photos, but that's just one of a whole bunch of web APIs that you might want to interact with. For most of these endpoints, there's an NPM package available that will make connecting to and interacting with that endpoint much, much easier. So you can imagine pulling data from any of these APIs to add some functionality to your patch. Finally, we're excited to see all the stuff you will make with node.script. So we've, we've created an online repository at github.com slash cycling74 slash n for n dash examples. We plan to gather examples made by us at cycling74 as well as members of the Max community. If you'd like to contribute something, please visit the GitHub page for information on adding your own example. Hopefully that gives you a flavor for the kinds of things you can do with Node for Max. If you're ready to get started, check out the next video on how to work with Node.script. Thanks for watching and happy patching.